Jesus gives some strong and very powerful words when he says, whoever confesses me before men, him will I confess before my Father in heaven. And if he denies me for, before men, I will deny him before my Father in heaven. And he also goes on to say, whosoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, I will be ashamed of him. There's this really amazing, miraculous story that happens in the Gospel of John, where this man who has been blind from birth is healed by Jesus. And the Pharisees are all upset, they're all uptight, and they don't believe the story. And they finally confront the man that was blind. And they ask him, you know, who healed you? How did it happen? They even go to his parents and say, tell us what happened to your son. And the parents give this interesting response. They say this, we don't know how it happened. We don't know who the man is that healed him, but our son, he is of age, ask him, let him speak. And what I wanna say about that is, you know, there comes a time when you and I as Christians, as believers, well, we become of age. You know that passage when it says, I'm not a child anymore, I don't think it's a child, I, I grow up, I mature. And there's time to give an answer because you're of age, to confessing before men, to not be ashamed. They, they finally come to the, to the guy that got healed and they start questioning him. And he says, you know, all I know is once I was blind and now I see. So let me just finish by saying this. You and I, uh, we're adults, probably most of you listening to this. You're of age and it's time to speak up, to show up, to stand up, and to live up to what God has done in your life. I love when the parents say that. Well, they were kind of chickening out, but they made a great point. My son, he's of age. Ask him. So speak up. Don't be ashamed of the Lord.